Hey besties, my name is Ehi and you're welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm sharing my sweet bell pepper sauce recipe. This recipe is a banger. Guys, if you try it my way, it goes slap, no cap. So guys, let's get cooking. So I'm using some sweet bell peppers for this obviously because I mean what's the sweet bell pepper sauce without bell peppers and using the yellow the green and the red bell peppers some carrots fresh ginger and garlic chili peppers and one medium sized purple onions So I went ahead to clean my bell peppers, the carrots, the onions, pretty much all of the vegetables that I'll be using for this recipe. Now when cleaning my bell peppers, I take out the seeds and the white parts in the bell peppers because while I was growing up, my mom used to say that if you don't take out the seed and the white parts when you clean your bell peppers, then it may not be as sweet as it's supposed to be. So when I clean my bell peppers, I pretty much just take my time and do this with so much diligence because I need it to be as sweet as possible. After cleaning my bell peppers, I went ahead to chop my garlic, ginger, onions and chili peppers. Now I know that we're used to making our ginger and garlic into a taste but for this recipe, I'll be using chopped ginger and garlic and you'll see why later. So once I'm done with all the cleaning and washing, this is what I have. I had to cut my carrots into small bits just so it is easy to blend. So I'm going to go ahead to put all of my cleaned bell peppers, the carrots, some scotch bonnet pepper for extra spice and flavor and some onions into a blender. I add a tiny bit of water and blend this into a smooth paste. Now after blending, this is what the paste looks like. I'm using chicken breast and fresh croaker fish as my proteins for this recipe. So I'm going to go ahead to cut my chicken breast into small cubes. Once I was done chopping my chicken breast, I went ahead to season to taste. Um, I used some garlic powder, ginger powder, paprika, whole oregano, some onion powder, some seasoning cubes, and some sesame oil. Now you can use salt for this if you want, but I pretty much, you know, try to exclude salt from most of my meals. That's why there's no salt here. So I mixed this all up to the glory of God and I went ahead to start my cooking process proper. Now you can leave this to marinate for about 30 minutes or you could just get into the cooking process like me. For my sauce, I started off by putting some vegetable oil into a pot and I added in my marinated chicken breast. Now I fried this until it was nice, tender and pale. Once my chicken breast was properly cooked, I went ahead to add some dried rosemary to the same oil I used in frying the chicken breast. Then I went in with some chopped onions, sauteed that for a bit before going ahead to add in my bell pepper mixture. Now, you can see how thick this paste is. If you are trying out this recipe, you want to ensure that your paste is as thick as this because that is the only time that you are going to appreciate the taste of this sauce 
so i gave this a good mix and i just used a little bit of water to rinse off my blender and add this to it just to loosen up the texture a bit and to ensure that this cooks like properly even after adding the water you can see how thick the paste is then i season this to taste as i always say don't forget to add salt though if you are a salt person i don't use salt for most of my meals but you can add salt then i added some coriander powder mix that all up to the glory of god and cover the pot and allow this cook on medium low heat for 12 minutes Once this had cooked for 12 minutes, this is what I have. Honestly, guys, this was drying out and almost getting burnt because I forgot to stir this for a bit. So you want to consistently check your sauces and stews so it doesn't get burnt. I literally had to turn off the heat at this point because the splashes were a lot and I was weary of my skin. I've been getting, you know, cuts lately in the kitchen and I didn't want another burn. I stirred that to the glory of God, added in my fried chicken breast mix that all up then i went ahead to add in my fresh coca fish and i just you know ensured that this soaks into the sauce after this i went ahead to add in my chopped ginger and garlic and my chili peppers guys i did not stir this so at this point i did not stir you just want to add this in and then cover the pot and allow this cook on low heat for another five minutes after five minutes food is ready guys you needed to be with me in my kitchen at this point because the aroma it was something else the ginger and garlic really just does it for me and i think it is a game changer in this recipe I turned off the heat at this point and added some chopped parsley for extra serere because I like to do too much. <laughs> I had this with some steamed basmati rice, but you can have this with some boiled potatoes, boiled yam, or even boiled plantain. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe sometime because this sauce is a banger. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. Like, share, and leave a comment below. 